So that's where they got that visual effect from Mario Party 8. Quite possibly. You are in a lot of uh, things playing this game. Dude, we need to play Mario Party 8. The car one? No, the... the good no, that's one. the hat one. Yeah. Where, yeah, that's the, when they when they eat the orb or candy and they transform. With that's Big what Top about. and Ballyhoo. Yeah. With HO HO HO! And... <laughs> and, and, and Big Top goes, STILL MO! Well, I'm editing that out, because... Welcome to I the think, Star Carnival! I think that's every single line he has, so that's obviously copyright. <laughs> he actually has more lines than you would think. Do we have Ooh. to play Koopa Tycoon, right? Like, the best one. Is that like the Monopoly board stage? The one where you go around controlling the yeah. hotels? Yeah. I also really like Goomba Boardwalk. Yeah. The Boo one is cool. And the I, I always like the train. Cool, but I think my favorite would probably be the train. Is that letting me turn the camera? Well, no. My favorite is only the train, because it reminds- it's like the exact same train as the train in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Oh, really? It reminds me of the train, like it feels the exact same to me. I think we should get all the stars in this game. All of them? Yes. Not the blue coin ones, but like, the main ones. So there are five or six stages. This is one of the stages. Each stage has eight levels in it. Mm. So you do the eight levels in every stage and you get the Are stars. we gonna keep track of blue coins? Do you want to? Not particularly. Well, I wouldn't. I'm not planning on it. I wasn't planning on getting all the blue coin stars. Because you get shines from uh, turning in blue coins. Yeah. And there is a blue coin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about one of the blue coins, okay? You remember where you started? Yeah. Actually, go go to the front of one of these houses. Right, turn around and look at the houses. Uh -huh. You see that door? Spray the door. They hide blue coins like that. That's dirty. Uh, isn't this one a balcony? I think this house has a balcony on it. No, it's not this one. It must be one of the other ones. There's a house with a balcony on it. And in order to get the coin on there, you have to walk in the balcony and stand on it. And the coin comes out. That's so arbitrary. If you look up, you see that little, uh... Right there, actually. That little, uh, spinny, <laughs> the, the spinny fan off in the distance. Yeah. There's a spinny fan on the right corner of this area you're in right now. And when you spray it for like 10 seconds, a blue coin comes out. Why? I don't remember the number, but there are... And there's like an arbitrarily large amount. Yes. And I believe you actually ah! re remember me. <laughs> what the heck? I think you actually... If I fall off, I'm gonna... I think you actually remember me playing this game and memorizing where am i and memorizing the location for all the blue coins do you remember that i was working the night shift and you came in and you're like what are you doing i'm like you know memorizing the blue coins and this and i was doing mario odyssey too at the same time yeah i uh i learned a lot but i'm not happy that i learned a lot because now i realize after learning that just how stupid these are you should really use your hover nozzle because you're not going to make it otherwise why am I- what am I grabbing onto? There's a... grass. Gonna... You're gonna die to the pokey. You're gonna rage quit Mario Sunshine 23 minutes in the episode. <laughs> when you didn't even play for half of it. What are you doing? I was trying to hit pokey. No, not- I wasn't saying you, I was saying the po look, did you see the pokey oh glitching? I was asking the pokey what it was doing. That's a fair question. I was like, boy, what you doing? Hey, you can go get the blue coin if you walk this, uh, road. That was really satisfying to have it pop up and then me grab it by it dropping down. Yeah, you just walk that way. Um... It's to the... Are you just kind of walking around and hanging out? Yeah. That's cool. I don't have a problem with this. I hope not. 
No, 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 I mean, like, I'm not trying, I'm not gonna, like, force you to, oh, did you see that blue coin? Where? To the left, in the water. Yeah, I'll go for it later. There's another one. Um, oh, I can't climb this? I don't know if you can get it right now. Oh, that's the balcony I was talking about. You just, like, stand in one of those or spray water in one of those holes and you get a blue coin. How would I have figured that out? I have no idea. Oh, but it encourages exploration, if you think about it. It does, but I don't think the that validates- The most idiotic and arbitrary way possible. I think it's true, and it does. And I think it's really fun when you suddenly find one of those things. However- yeah, but there's no, like- If you're trying to complete all the blue coins, you yeah. have to look up a walkthrough on how to do it. It's not like the unknown in Legends Arceus. Yeah, it's not like there's a hint or a good way to find them. It's quite literally just something hidden. I think it's good and it's a good idea, but there's no implement for finding the blue coins that I know of. I could be wrong, but I think the speed one for blue coins, I think... There are levels that are best for Is his wife a chuckster? I thought that was like a bad oh. reference. Like chucking in bed or something. No. Not you, just what he said. Oh, if you spray those bells up there to the left, um, behind you where the water was, yeah. you get a one-up. Oh, I want a one-up. Yeah, those. To your right. Look up. I can't. Uh, usually you go to flood. Yeah, there's a one-up in those. You just have to spray them. Look at that dookie monster. Get dookied! Speaking of dookie monster, you're gonna love this story. I went to... <laughs> so we are currently at a place right now, undisclosed. Right? But I clicked through the... We... We are currently at a place. And this place has a gym. <laughs> like, like there, like there's a gym down the road, like right over there. You could probably walk to it from here, right? Yeah. No. So, I go in this gym yesterday to oh, go I swimming to after this. playing disc golf. Oh, Christian, poor, poor Christian. You know where that's at. I think you do. Anyway, so I go in this in this pool, right? Like I'm going to get changed in the bathroom. Go in the bathroom, there's a giant dookie in the toilet. With toilet paper everywhere, like all around it, okay. Like it's I don't know where that is. What? My story? No the blue coin. I don't think there is a blue coin. No, I sprayed something in Oh, it's when you go on top of the thing. You go up the windmill thing and you walk to the right, and there was that hole in the ground mm -hmm. that you can look down. But I think you're gonna be pissed about this one. Don't jump in the hole. Just, yeah. See that hole right there? Right there. That's where it was, but it disappears. You have a time limit. Okay, I don't care. So you need to, like, spray it from somewhere like there and then jump into it? I would just say move on. Yep, it fell. Some of them chase you and some of them run. Well, that was off key. So I, I went to the bathroom before I get changed. Big dookie in the toilet, right? I turn around and I, I flush it. I get changed and then I leave. I come back to get changed again and there's another one. In the same toilet. But the guy was like, oh, I thought I left that there. <laughs> Try and kill yourself here. See what happens. I don't want to. No, just see. You're fine. Good open world experience, right? I can't believe I'm being limited. <laughs> I watched a video by uh, Oh, that's the one you spray for the coin. You don't have to get it, I was just letting you know. I watched a video by uh Psych of Play this weekend. Yeah. And uh talking about like the real reason why we're not satisfied with open world experiences. And it's because, like, uh, it's because of the freedoms that they don't give us. 
and that just didn't give me the freedom to end my own life. So, bad game. That's a good video, though. You should watch Psycho Play. It's a good series. I don't disagree with that. Because people want what they can't have. Yeah, I'm I'm butchering the explanation. It was like he had like actual like research and stuff. Yeah. And since people want what they can't have, they see they cannot do something, and they go, well, you want to have a freedom game, but I don't have the freedom to do this thing. Right. But how is a game dev actually going to be able to think of every single thing? You know? Yeah. There's, let's say, a million people play your game. How are you going to think of every single thing before you come out with that game? A million people are going to have a thought process different than yours. Which does not excuse open world games. Right. Like, we're looking at you, Ubisoft. We're looking at you, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, leaving out Froggy Chair. I think they left out more than just Froggy Chair. Yeah, but I only care about Froggy Chair. At least Froggy Chair actually got patched in. Did you know that? Welcome to episode 3 of Mario Sunshine on the Two <laughs> White Guys channel. <laughs> did you not know that? Uh, kind of. I kind of did, but I never actually cared. Yeah, I don't- I think no one actually did. I don't actually- Except for, like, those weird people on Twitter who are obsessed with New Horizons. Fun fact. You can sequence break Mario Sunshine in this level. Um, that was weird. So, Petey Piranha is actually on top of the windmill. Like, way over there. So I can go fight him right now? Yes. Instead of fighting this blob. And you would skip level 1 and go straight to level 2. Like, you know uh, Mario 64? Where you're playing a level, and then sometimes you do a star that's for a different one? Is this the one I have to hit? What? What? What do you mean is that what you have to hit? What? No. For Petey Piranha? No, for that blue coin. Uh, Alright, where's that windmill? So you go on this little jumpy thing. You What's see the windmill in the reflection. Is Petey up there? He is. So you go on he's that white thing. He's not on reflection. Thing. Game ruined. I don't know if he's even rendered yet. <laughs> You'll get it one day, bud. And you walk towards there and you just jump. And then you'll you'll fly. Oh. I messed it up. Yeah, you, you, you get it. You need to fly on that platform over there. I hope the rope is into the reflection so I can see Mario's feet. That's actually kind of interesting. You could just stand right there and jump like two or three times. Yep. And then you can walk up that path and go to the windmill. My you have successfully sequenced broke Mario Sunshine. Once you get to the PD area, if you make it there. This is windy. You can just jump over there. Uh, it's more fun. Wait, is it actually fun? Uh, are you enjoying this game at all? Yeah. Good. The controls are a bit finicky, but I like this more than 64. With I, I think we've established on the channel my opinions on Mario 64. And I think it was the Dicey Dungeon episode. Yeah, the podcast episode. Did we talk about it? I was probably one of the many things we talked about, because that was just me complaining about Bullcrap. I think you... Oh, stand in that for a water region? You kind of need it. I don't think it refills your water when you fight PD. I don't think it does. Cool. This is where they, uh... They supposedly test your skill with the hover because they make you hover through things. But I don't really think it's a test of your skill as much as it's have you figured out how our game works yet. <laughs> I mean... Skill check. Stop! Yes, you can fall in that water very easily. I think, I think Petey is throwing that at you. <laughs> I love when it glitches like that with a million stars. Mario. 
I'm going to deactivate you forever. <laughs> you piece of crap. The disrespect. Okay, keep in mind, if at any given point you touch a wall, you are going to latch onto it. What the? Hold it. You might make it. Ah, oh, crap. Do a backflip right here. Shut up! If you do a backflip and wall jump, you could probably make it pretty high. I'm going to play the video game as a Easy. That's not the channel we have. That's not our channel. I say I'm going to play the video game as intended. I'm literally secret breaking. <laughs> you are secret breaking to play the game as intended. Do you know what killing that plant monster does? Oh, wait, what? It gives you a hill, like a path, that lets you get on top of that wooden bridge. Okay. And that I gives you, it puzzle. gives you a shine for doing that. What's that? Who's it? He just chucks you in the spikes. He is a chuckster. I'm joking. Oh. You can't get the M though. How do you feel about Chucksters throwing you? It's appropriate in certain contexts. You are going to love the Lava Lava area. Episode like five or whatever it is. It's the, for those of you sunshine heads out here. <gasps> there he is, there's the boy. Wait, it's, can I just? You know what I'm talking about. It's, it's the Chuckster episode. Uh, that would've been cool if I could've just, like, hovered straight over his head. Yoinked it. Yeah. But then I wouldn't have been able to fight my favorite young man. Um, awkward! <laughs> I really like that interaction, actually. <laughs> it's gonna be in the Mario movie. Wait, is that? What's no. the What's the Mario movie even about? Does anyone know yet besides Chris Patrick? <laughs> Chris Patrick. I saw there was a leak of the plot synopsis, and it doesn't look excellent. Riveting gameplay. Brother, you're gonna have to stop doing it on the floor. So. He turns away from Mario and opens his mouth. You need to time it when he opens his mouth, because once you hit it and then you stop, it, uh... Because you can only shoot so much before it stops shooting. It's just really annoying. Did you see that guy just launch across the screen? Okay, there What was that about? Hey, you figured out how to ground pound. I hit ZR with a ground pound before I got blood, so that's why I was doing that. that. This is actually the boss fight. You follow him around and you shoot water in his mouth. He's the best boss in the game. I actually like him more than a lot of the bosses in the game. What the heck? Yeah, it's only leave opening. In about three, two, one. Okay. Mr. Piranha. Three, two. Go, 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 you like sat on his face. Yeah. What happened? Oh, he just hit the tea bag. He hit the gritty. He gritty. <laughs> gritty piranha. What's it for you, Kirby? I'm currently hitting the gritty for the final puzzle. <laughs> okay. Uh, now he's gonna turn it open. Oh, crud. It's fine. He's gonna turn the opposite direction of that guy. No, he's not. Oh. No! <laughs> you see how you hit like one pixel controls. of water? That's why I don't like it. Because you hit one pixel of water and then he closes his mouth. I just got iframes. <laughs> he's so chonky right now. 
he turns all the way around. Every time. Every time he turns all the way around. <laughs> when the final no. boss turns to look you in the eye. No! Oh wait, he got the gulp. <laughs> the terrible gulp. Such a weird, huge diaper that's like in your face. No! I don't know how it's possible to die after PD. Fully possible. It's actually fully possible to die, I'm pretty sure, on any boss. <laughs> like, you unlock the shine, and then you can just dip. You shine! can just go play a different part of the level and just die. Like, nothing prevents you. That level does. But most how long have we been recording? How long do you want to guess? 